Welcome to Vention Tips. In this video, we will take you through how to build a linear motion cassette using Vention components. Start your assembly by adding a mounting plate for ball screws. This plate comes equipped with double sealed bearing and an adjustment cap to tension the bearing. Linear motion cassettes can be built using two different lengths of ball screw, either 905 millimeters or 1580 millimeters. As we will be building the shorter version in this video, two 855 millimeter extrusions are required to be mounted on each side of the first mounting plate. You can close the cassette frame by adding a second mounting plate on the other end. Make sure that the bearing tension caps are pointing towards the outside of the frame. Next, select the 905 millimeter ball screw and bring it to one of the mounting plates inside the cassette frame. You can now add the parts required to mount the stepper motor. This includes two 45 millimeter length extrusions, as well as a stepper motor mounting plate. You will notice that the stepper motor mounting plate and the ball screw mounting plate have very similar designs, so make sure you select the correct mounting plate. After adding the stepper motor into position, you will need to add a flexible shaft coupling to unite the stepper motor with the ball screw. Don't forget to add a 2x4 hole assembly plate on each side of the cassette to secure the motor in position. You can now add two 90 degree brackets that can hold proximity sensors if you choose to connect the linear motion cassette to machine motion. The proximity sensors would then become the de facto end stops. To assemble the gantry, which will move along the cassette, select the gantry plate and add four roller wheel assemblies. You will notice that the roller wheels can be mounted at several locations on the gantry plate and therefore, make sure you choose a location that's corresponding to your design intent. You should select the eccentric roller wheels for one side of the gantry and the concentric roller wheels for the other side of the gantry plate. When done assembling the gantry, you can add it to your design by dragging the ball nut housing directly onto the ball nut inside your cassette. As always, don't forget to take a picture of your assembly before checking out. This will make searching for it in the future fast and easy.